Good morning. I'd like to talk with you uh, about a very important mathematical concept today, which is the gradient. And you will notice that you'll be asked to do a lot of work with gradients and to calculate gradients. And that becomes relatively easy if you really understand what a gradient is and does. Yeah, so that's what this video is about. We're going to have a proper look at gradients, yeah, which will help you later on. Okay, well, first of all, when or what type of questions do they ask you to do something with a gradient? Is that when you are having percentages? Or is that when you're asked to find the volume? Yeah, when do they ask something about a gradient? Well, hopefully you already know that gradient has got something to do with when you are graphing. So when you're looking at a graph yeah, of a particular function, they can ask you, ask you a question about the gradient of that function, yeah, the gradient of that line. Perhaps they give you a few coordinates and you have to say something about the gradient yeah, of the function going through those coordinates. But maybe you have learned a different word for gradient. Maybe you say, well, hang on a minute. In my school, we talk about the slope. No, that's excellent. Different words, they mean the same. But maybe you say, well, we talk about the rise and run. Fantastic. You keep on talking about rise and run. All right. It all means the same. It is the gradient. Because what is the gradient? It is or it tells something about the steepness. The steepness of a particular graph. And that's something I'd like you to realize. We are talking about the steepness. So if I would quickly sketch two lines over here, yes, line one, line two. Now, which one is steeper? Yeah, if I'm on a pedal bike yeah, from Holland, and this is a mountain, which by the way, I don't have in Holland, yeah, but anyway, if this is a mountain, I'm on my pedal bike, is this gonna cost me more energy? Or is this slope gonna cost me more energy? Yeah, well, I hope you realize this one, because it is steeper, this line goes up quicker, and this one is relatively flat. Okay, so this line is steeper, it has a higher gradient compared to this line. Okay, well knowing that the gradient tells something about the steepness of the line, we are going to continue now. I have prepared a set of axes and two lines. Yeah, and line one, I just put my ruler here, that's this line, has the equation y equals x plus 1. And line 2 has the equation y equals 2x plus 1. Now, first of all, we're going to look at line 1. Now, what is gradient? The gradient of a line is, if I would stand on my line, for instance, at this particular point, I have to go, and I'll do that in pen, if I go one step to the right, yeah, that's one step, one unit to the right, yeah, from one to two, how many steps do I go up? And the amount of steps you go up, that will be your gradient. All right, now let's have a look. So if I go one step to the right, I would go how many steps up from two to three, so that would also be one. So for line one, the gradient is one. Because if I go one step to the right, I'm going one step up, yeah? And that number is my gradient. Now I would like to ask you, is the gradient on my line the same everywhere? Is the steepness constant, yeah? So for instance, if I would stand here on my line, will I get the same gradient as over there? Well, let's have a look. Also here, if I would go one step to the right, how many steps do I go up? Yeah, and I hope you see already here, if I go one step to the right, I also go one block at one unit up. So indeed, the gradient on the line, the gradient of a linear equation is constant. It is everywhere the same. Okay, now let's look at my second line. Well, before looking at the gradient, is my second line steeper or less steep than my first line? 
Is it going up quicker or less quick? Well, I hope you see it is going up quicker. So I already know that my gradient has to be more, has to be higher than one, because it is steeper. So a steeper line has a higher gradient. Well, let's find out if that is true. Let's pick a point. Let's pick a point here, for instance. Yeah, Nicely on the intersection of the squares behind my uh, graph. And the gradient is, if I go one step, uh, one unit to the right, how many steps do I go up to be back on my line? Well, for line two, I go one step to the right, and then I go one, two blocks up. So for my second line, the gradient is two. And just to make sure if that is really constant everywhere, let's have a look here, a little bit at the bottom. So one step to the right. How many steps do I go up to be back on my line? One, two, and I'm back on my line. So indeed, the gradient of that second line is more than the gradient of my first line. The gradient of the first line was 1, and the gradient of the second line is 2. And that makes sense because it, because it is steeper. Now please click to the next video where I will continue to talk about gradient.